Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Beat Strong series. <laughs> and today what we're going to do is a 35 minute upper body push. So we are gonna work on those muscles that do pushing action. So we are going to do that chest. We are going to do those triceps and we're gonna do some shoulder work where we're doing some pressing. So we're gonna work on each muscle group with a couple activities. So I have a range of weights because I know I can do more with my chest and a little bit less with my shoulders and my triceps are kind of in between. So I kind of have a range of weights, a little bit of my medium heavies to my lighter weights. So kind of maybe a range, but make sure you grab your sweats how you drink and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully a chance to grab some dumbbell swatel drink and your great attitude is so let's get warmed up. Let's start with opening and closing that chest. And we're gonna rotate those thumbs in and around. Oh man, feels so good. Three more like this. Two more. Last one, let's hinge down and do nice big swings. Again, this is gonna look at range of motion. So we want a lot of motion here. Three more, two more. A last one, this time we're gonna throw our Thumbs up, and we're gonna go right up towards that ceiling. Big swings for three, two, last one. And we're gonna go all the way up and over that head. Boom, boom, boom. Two more. Oh yeah, last one. Let's take those arms, let's press them down, and then we're gonna press them up. Press them down, press them up. Nice and controlled for three. Two. Last one. Big arm circles right here. Boom. 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 Oh, that feels so good. For three. Two. Last one. Guess what? We're going to go the other direction. Boom. Big arm circles. Three more like this. Two more. Last one. Let's throw our thumb forward and then our thumb back. Again, big range of motions. Big swings. Like you're moving water around for three. Two, oh, last one. Take that arm all the way around. Oh yeah, getting those laterals in that trunk. Two more. Last one, let's do the other side, forward and back. Big motion. Three more like this. Two more. Last one, then let's do some laterals right here. Over. Three more like this, two more, last one. Okay, let's take those arms, let's gonna pull it down. We're gonna squeeze to the front, we're gonna squeeze back and then push up, pull down. Push the front, pull back, push on up. Nice and controlled. Two more like this, down and around and back and up. Okay, we're gonna stop this one right here and then we're gonna go in and out, get some external and internal rotation. Oh yeah, three more like this, two more. Last one, this time we're gonna press our hand palm to each side, we're gonna start activating the back of that shoulder, get some stability in there. Just press through that palm and push and three. Boom, 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 two more. Last one, this time we're gonna go diagonal right here. Boom. Last one. Oh yeah, let's go to the end of the mat. Let's do some walkouts on those arms. So we're gonna go right on the way out and then we're gonna walk that back in. Walk that back out. Walk that back in. Last time we're gonna walk that all the way out. We're gonna drop into that quadruped. We're gonna keep those elbows straight. We're gonna sink those shoulder blades in and out. Oh yeah, working and activating that shoulder, that stability. Three more like this, two more. Last one, we're gonna take that arm and we're gonna thread that needle and get that thoracic spine unlocking. Oh yeah, all the way up and around. One more time, up and thread. This time the other side, come up, thread underneath, come up thread underneath, two more, the last one, we're going to rock right here onto those wrists and then we're going to rock back, rock right over those wrists, oh yeah, 
One more time. Rock right over those wrists and back. We're going to move those wrists. We're going to have our palms, or our fingers touching us, and we're going to scoot back and stretch. Come back up. Scoot back and stretch. Oh, yeah. One more time. Let's stretch out those wrists. Oh, yeah. And then let's talk about what we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to have three exercises, and we're going to do them twice through. First is going to be a chest. Then it's going to be a tricep. Then it's going to be a shoulder. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a chest press. We're gonna be, that's where I'm gonna be able to have a little bit more weight. Then I'm gonna do a tall sit and I'm gonna do an overhead extension. And then I'm gonna do a nice tall kneel and I'm gonna do a shoulder a press. How's that sound? So let's get in a position for that nice, good chest press. Let's go down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Press that right to the center and back down. Squeeze that chest, control that back down. Okay, your back is nice and stable. Core is engaged. You're pressing that chest to the center. Oh yeah. Working almost for a minute, just shy of it. 50 seconds. Oh yeah, a little bit more endurance. Press to the center, and it's okay if you, I might start with a heavier weight on my first round and have to drop to my second. That's okay. Okay, I'm pressing and I'm trying to keep good form, but also pushing that weight to really strengthen that upper body. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Okay, I'm gonna do a nice good tall sit. I'm gonna take that weight right overhead. We're gonna come behind our head and right up and over. Here we go, three, two, one down and up. Nice good tricep extension. And behind that head, right up and over. Then we're gonna go into that tall kneel and do a shoulder press. Right behind that head, extend that all the way up and over. Give me that full extension. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, that was pushing me at the end. Okay, tall kneel into that shoulder press. Roll those shoulders back. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Press that right to the center and back down. Pressing up, nice strong core. Whew. See, I have to adjust my weights too. I wanna keep that form. I wanna really work hard at pressing my body, but I also know I gotta keep that form. Cutting that balance. Okay, we're gonna go to chest press after this. One more time through. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's do that chest press. Whew. Let's get in position. Here we go. Three, two, one. Press right to the center and back down. Nice and controlled. Squeeze that chest. Really picture squeezing it as you come to the center. Nice good push action. Strong core. Stay focused. Adjust your weight when you need to. That's totally fine. You saw me already do that. Sometimes we just have to give ourselves permission. Really keep that form though. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, tall sit for the overhead extension. Here we go. Three, two, one, down and up. 
Letting that sit right behind your head. And pushing that overhead. Whew. My muscles are already fatigued. I'm working them hard already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whew. Keep going. You got this. 20 more seconds. And then we'll finish out with that shoulder press. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, shoulder press. Let's finish this baby out. Here we go. Roll the shoulders back in. Three, two, one. Up overhead and back down. Keep that head above the shoulders. Okay, reset. Roll the shoulders back. Come right back up. Oh, man. Woo! Keep going. You got this. Down and up. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Okay, so we're going to go down and we are going to do a chest a fly. And then we're going to take that one weight and we're going to do a skull crusher. And then we're going to come up and we're going to do an Arnold press. We're going to press in, out, up, and over. So our palms face us. We rotate it out, press it on up overhead, and back down. Ooh, yeah. So we're going to start with that chest fly first. Shoulders are already tired. Okay, chest fly down on the ground, feet up. Here we go. In three, two, one. Out wide, squeeze the center. Nice and controlled. You can do two dumbbells if they're lighter, or you can do one dumbbell for that skull crusher. Okay, keep that elbow slightly bent with these flies. Squeeze that chest to the center and back in. Halfway there. Exhale as you squeeze to the center. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two. One and rest. Nice work. Okay, we're into that skull crusher. Oh, yeah. Whew. Same position in three, two, one. We're going down and up. Nice and controlled. that Arnold press in that tall kneel position after this. Okay, right up over that head and then extend that elbow out. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one and a rest. Nice work. Okay. Whew. Tall kneel. Arnold press. Are you ready? Here we go. Roll those shoulders back in. Three, two, one. Squeeze it out. Lift on up on high. Hand back in. Push it out. Push it up. Bring it down. Oh, yeah. We're going back to that chest fly after this. That head above the shoulders, I have to remind myself. I like to jet that thing out. Controlled. Whew, my shoulders today. Some days are just like that. There's a lot of reasons behind that. That's why I don't say, just 
pick the weight that you always do because you just don't know what you're going to need that day. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we're going down. Chest fly again. We got this. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Out wide. Squeeze to that center. Boom. Nice and controlled. Out wide, squeeze to the center. Nice and controlled. Really picture squeezing that chest. Exhale as you come to that center. 15 more seconds. Then the skull crusher. Sounds so dangerous. Five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Skull Crusher is a next. Nice and controlled. Three, two, one, down and up. Right up over your forehead. Press that up overhead. That full extension at the top. Control it both directions. Halfway there. We'll finish with that Arnold press. Five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, let's finish this one out with that Arnold press. Whew. Here we go. Roll the toes back in three, two, one up and back. Okay, so we're gonna go into some standing next. We're gonna do a stand fly. We're gonna do a kickback extension and um, a, a push in the shoulder from the front. Nice and up, down. Squeeze the center, squeeze it back, rest it up. Halfway there. With the stand fly, whew, you can either alternate sides or you can take the first round doing the right side, then doing the left. Same thing, you can do um, kickback extension, you can do both at the same time, or you can do one at a time. Five, four, three, two. One and rest, nice work. Shake that out, ooh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a stand fly, our palm's gonna face up. We're gonna push up to, up and across and back down. Okay, so we're gonna push that up to the other side. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a tricep extension. We're gonna push back and do extension. You can do one side at a time or you can do both at the same time. And then we're going to do a front push. We're gonna take our palms facing us we're gonna push that right up here and back down. Okay, so let's start with that stand fly. I'm just gonna do one, the right side on the first one. Here we go, three, two, one, up and over. Pushing that right up and across. Nice and controlled. Do tricep extension after this. Woo! I don't know about you. I am feeling like I've worked it. I've pushed those weights. My upper body is already fatigued. <laughs> 15 more seconds of this chest fly into that. I'm gonna stick with just the right side. Woo, yeah, for the, my extension. Here we go. We got five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Okay, so I'm gonna just bend over. I'm gonna extend that out and back. No swinging. It's a pause at the top and back down in three, two, 
one. Use that shoulder blade, pull that back, extend, and back down. So pause at the top, bring it back down. Nice and controlled. That full extension, that little pause, and no swinging. Okay, and then we're gonna go to that front push, that shoulder push with our palms facing each other, or facing our face. Come on, you got this halfway. Nice and controlled. Pause at the top and back down. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Okay, we're doing that push. Woo, that shoulder push. Palms are facing you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Press up and back down. Right in front of that face, pushing it on up, bringing it back down. Nice work, you got this. I'm gonna go back to that stand fly. I'm gonna do my other side. Maybe you alternated sides, or you're with me. You gotta do the opposite side. Even that baby out. Ten more seconds of this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Okay, back to that chest fly. Woo, here we go. Three, two, one, up, and a back. Nice and controlled. Now I'm gonna do a kickback extension on this side. Maybe you did both, just that. That up and back. Keep that head above those shoulders. Up and across. You got this. 15 more seconds. Strong core as you pull that across. You got this in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, tricep extensions after this. Here we go. Whew. Three, two, one. Squeeze that shoulder blade, and then you're gonna kick back and down. Pause at the top and back down. Nice and controlled. that front press after this. Extend, control. Nice, good job of extending. Pausing at the top and bringing that down. Give me that lockout. Oh yeah. Back of those arms, those triceps are gonna look so good. You better believe it, you're halfway there. Keep going, you got this 10 more seconds. Finish this round with that shoulder press. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, nice job. Okay, let's finish this round. Roll those shoulders back, here we go, three, two, one. Press that right up and back down. Okay, we've got one more, triple. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the weight. I know, we're gonna do body weight. We got push-ups. We got dips. We got a pike push-up. Ooh, yeah. Gonna burn that out with that body weight. Pressing on up. Bring it back down. Halfway there. Strong and controlled. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Okay, so we're gonna go down. We're gonna do a push-up. 
So you can do a push-up on the wall, you can do a push-up on your knees or on your toes, as long as you're going all the way down, all the way up, giving that nice, good, solid board. Your chest, your thighs, your torso, they all come down at the same time, and they all come up. Then we're gonna turn around, we're gonna do some dips. Okay, so you can come right up here, dip it down. If you want to, you can even go off of a bench, okay, and make that a little more exaggerated. Or you can go right here on your bottom. Lastly, we're gonna do a pike push up. We're gonna come right here, boom, down and up. You can do that even on your knees, okay? There's ways to modify. So let's start with that push up. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, down and up. Nice and controlled, all the way down, all the way up. No one wins the race, okay? They all come down at the same time. Okay, so don't jet that forehead out. Sometimes we wanna get there fast and we jet that head out. We want it nice and neutral, all the way down, all the way up. On your toes, on your knees, or even on an incline or the wall, that works. Come on, you got this, 15 more seconds. We're going to dips after this. The farther your legs are out on the dips, the more weight you have, okay? That's how you modify. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Whew, I'm gonna do it off of a bench. You can do it right on the ground. The farther they are out, the eat harder. The closer, the easier. Here we go, three, two, one, down, and up. Like I said, you can do this on the ground. Even if you need to have your bottom on the ground, it's not cheating. All you're doing is lessening the body weight. It's like dropping the dumbbell, totally fine. With the pike, you can even have your feet and your toes up on the bench or the couch, or you can do it on the ground in that triangle form or that pike position, or you can even do it, if you need to, in that quadruped. We're just gonna work those shoulders a little bit differently. 15 more seconds, how's that sound? Oh, oh challenging, right? Whew. You got this, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so pike position right here, down and up, or even that quadruped, or with me, with your toes on the bench, or a couch, or a chair. Here we go, three, two, one, down, and up. Really working the shoulders, oh my goodness. We got push-ups again after this. Press through, you got this. Fifteen more seconds. Back to the push ups. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woo. Push-ups, you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, down and up. Nice and controlled. Body weight doesn't mean it's easier. <laughs> Just different. You got this. Woo! Come on, halfway there. Going to the dips after this. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Hard to count when I was giving all my energy to it. Okay, we're doing dips. Whoo! Yeah, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, down and up. Oh yeah, we're gonna finish with that pike push up. Bring those shoulders out, I know. Down and up. You're doing awesome. I know, like I said, body weight does not mean easier. 
Okay, just challenging in a different way. <laughs> Halfway there. Come on, 10 more seconds. Woo, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna finish with those pike push-ups. Yeah, I know, I hear you. Woo, and then all we've got is the beach finisher after that, okay? Here we go. Let's get in position. In three, two, one, down and up. Oh my goodness, woo. These aren't just challenging, they're also at the end of a workout. Your body is challenged for sure. Do your best. Come on, over halfway. Push through, you got this, I know. It's challenging, I'm right there with you. Five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, it's a good finisher. Thank goodness. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do my lighter weights. We're going to do some combined work here. Whew. Getting my bearings right. <laughs> okay, we are going to push out, push up, overhead extend, and back down. Okay, so I'm going to have a nice, strong core. Head's going to be above that shoulder. I'm gonna press that baby out with my palms facing up. And then I'm gonna press them up overhead. I'm gonna extend over and back down. So probably a lighter weight to work on this. Are you ready to push through? This is it, baby. Roll those shoulders back in. Three, two, one. Press that out, press it up. Overhead extension. And then back in. In, out, up, over, up. Oh yeah, we are pushing the finish. We're gonna push to the end, right? <laughs> I gotta love my puns. Boom, in, out, up. Drop the weight if you need to. Push it out, push it in, push it up, overhead, and back. Getting those shoulders, getting that chest, getting those triceps. Halfway there. You're doing great. Hang in there. Woo, baby. Come on, press that out. Press it in. Up, overhead. Thirty seconds left. Almost there, 15 left, 15 seconds. You got this. Cool down right around the corner. Oh yeah. Woo, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, love that word. Shake those arms out. Let's pull that arm across. Let's get that shoulder. Oh yeah. Who felt work today. Yeah, I pressed my body today. Ha, I pushed it. Woo, let's go right up and overhead. I was pushing that weight, literally. I'm trying to get that strength going. Woo, nice good challenge. And let's take that other arm across. Drop that shoulder down. Nice work today. Not easy when we start focusing on just the same muscle groups. Woo, up and over behind. Nice work. 
Okay, let's take that arm. Let's open up that chest. Let's reach behind us. If you can grab that shoulders and open that up. Now, if you can't, you can take your towel and lift right up there. Nice and controlled. Nice, good lift. Okay, we're gonna take that left arm. We're gonna grab that um, right side and we're gonna tilt that head towards that right shoulder. Okay, so we're locking that shoulder down. Getting that neck, that upper trap, elevator scap. Look up over that shoulder. Oh yeah, and then look down at that armpit. Other side, take that other wrap. Tilt that head, oh yeah. Look up over that shoulder. Ooh. And then let's look down at that armpit. Oh yeah. Let's take those arms and let's make a nice good C position. And lift that on up. And then we're gonna pull and tug to that side. Oh yeah. And we're gonna pull to the other side and tug for three, two, one. Nice work, high five for rocking that way to go. Make sure you're drinking some water and having some high quality protein and have a great day. Hey guys, I sure hoped you liked that workout. And did you realize this is part of a series called Beach Strong? Oh yeah, we are designed to get this body strong and fit and feeling amazing. We're gonna focus on getting that heart strong and getting those muscles strong that can help you lean down, strengthen up, and feel amazing and sexy on the beach for this summer. So I hope you join me. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when each new workout comes and you're able to join in with me. I'm excited for the transformation. I love looking great in the swimsuit in the summer and I want you to feel the same way. So join me and then have a great day.